All right, so we're back with another daily A-level maths exam question. And as we can see then, today's question here is based on reduction to linear form. Now, there is a lot of boring waffle for this question here. As we can see, then we're looking at the growth of bacteria on a dish over a 30-day period. You know, boring stuff, but that doesn't really matter. Basically, all we want to do here then is just take this equation for the growth of the bacteria. I think that's what it's looking at anyway, um, or the area of the dish covered by the bacteria. Like I said, boring stuff, but basically I just want to show that it can be written in this form here, right? So we're taking this equation and writing it in this form here. So we want to give the value of A to the nearest integer and the value of B to 3SF. So where do we begin here? Well, what I can see here then is on the left-hand side, I have log N base 10. We just want N is equal to this here. So what that tells me then is I need to take here both sides of this equation, that being this equation here, right? and raise those both to the base of 10. So it's going to be 10 to the power of log n base 10 is equal to 10 to the power of all of this here. Now, the beauty of this then is that on the left-hand side, they will just cancel out. So 10 to the power of log n base 10 is just simply n. They just cancel out, right? And if we get n then, that's exactly what we want here. So let's just do that then on the line underneath. And like we said then, on the left-hand side here, I just simply get n because they just cancel out. And then on the right-hand side here, I get 10 to the power of all of this here. Perfect, that's exactly what we want here, right? What I can now do here then is just use the basic rules of indices. So going from this line here, that's 10 to the power of 0 0.046t plus 1.478. That's just the same then as writing this as a product, right? And then at this point here, we're getting pretty close to having it in this form here. What I can see then is this part here must represent A, so that is equal to A, and then this part here will give us B to T, right? So all we need to do here then is just grab our calculators. So once you've got your calculator here, then just put both of these into your calculator here. Obviously, the 10 to the 0.0646T, obviously you just need to enter that as 10 to the 0.0646. So B to the T then is just the same as 1.16 to the T. And A here is just simply 30. Don't forget then that A is the nearest integer and B is to 3SF. So altogether then, what I get here is 30 times then 1.16 to the T. Perfect. And there we go then. That gives the solution to today's daily question.